No chill, no filter. <laughs> <clears throat> what's popping what's popping what is popping yet again y'all this is big homie mc ron ski man and uh let me move this back just a little bit october let's talk about it man this is the recap the official recap no chill no filter tv style i cannot tell a lie man it was kind of weird up in there man saturday it was kind of weird, man, because, I mean, it was just a whole lot of crazy shit going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, Mike G was, I don't know what was going on, man. He walking off stage. I thought he was leaving, man, but he just wouldn't grab the water. But, I mean, when he walked off, he had everybody, including, like, you know what I'm saying, Lil Dave. Like, what the fuck is this nigga? And then, like, you know what I'm saying, he come back, and then all of a sudden, like. <laughs> what is the infamous Mike G? BMB. Street nigga. Yeah. Bro, I'm on my mama, you not finna disrespect me. On the G, you not finna disrespect me. Bro, let me rap, mama. Oof. Hey, look, man, y'all need to understand something, man. Uh, uh, let me ex let just, just let me speak on respect for a second. I don't care what the case is, and this these is two young homies, man. These is two of the brothers, man. They here from Milwaukee, man, and trust me, they definitely did what they supposed to have did. But man, y'all need to understand what respect is. Um. I'm going to just put it from my point of view, okay? Uh, let's just say I walk up and I put my hand out and say, Hey, hey, man, how's it going, man? That's me actually demanding my respect. I'm not asking you nothing. Respect is never requested. It's demanded. And what you need to understand is something, man. Respect has to be demanded. And if it's not given freely, it has to be exacted. Y'all need to understand that. That's why a whole lot go on, man. And... It, it can end up kind of bad, man. I'm just glad that, you know, it was two brothers. Y'all knew it was entertainment purposes. But, yeah, it did get kind of serious, man, when, you know, I'm here, man. Come, and I get it, man. You got to take care of that business, man. But get a phone to somebody else, man, and let them answer that, man. But with that battle right there, man, uh, Lil Dave versus BMB Mike G, it was hard. It was hard on both sides because, I mean, damn, Lil Dave. Mm. But we can brawl. We deep as a bitch. I got my peeps and all. But I ain't got to call my people. Especially if it's a problem that we can solve. Because when I see solutions, I'm that nigga that my people call. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then, like, as soon as Mike G started, it was... Hey, I'm from the hood, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 like that. Um, and, and once again, y'all need to understand, I'm going to tell all y'all this, man. Don't look at my opinion. What y'all need to do is look at your footage. If you have a three-minute round and that motherfucker lasts two minutes and 50 seconds, no, no. Don't ask me how you did because that, that right there says it all because you need to understand a three minute round can last 12 minutes depending on the crowd reaction. Y'all need to understand that. And if you're not doing it, if you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, the crowd not going to be with you and neither am I. I ain't going to lie to you, man. So y'all need to understand, man. Y'all have to be very, very careful with this. Don't just keep asking, how did I do? I don't know. How you think you did? Were you always constantly getting interrupted by the crowd? Were they steady said, oh, man, run that back? You know what I mean? Were they doing things of this nature instead of saying stuff like, <laughs> yeah, man, that, that was, that was kind of painful right there. But if I had to, if I had to say, or if I had to pick, um, I got, I got Lil Dave with the clear win on that one, man. And I get it, man. You know, and people need to understand. I know I was, my battery was about to die, but it just seemed like, you know, he was at the end of his situation because he just really just kind of like started, I don't know, freestyling and bullshitting a little bit. So I thought that he was about to be done. So I'm just letting them know, like, go ahead and wrap it up. I didn't tell him that, you know, it was dying at that time. I just let him know, like, you know, wrap it up a little bit. Okay. So... That battle being out the way, man. Illa versus AK. Oh, man. Man, man, man. That, that was a good one. That was a good one. And I have to look at it again, man. But right now, um, I, I, got, I got Illa edging it. Although AK, AK handled his business on that, man. Um, so Stopper versus AQ, it went the way I thought it would, man. I, I mean, I, I, I never take nothing from Showstopper, man. That's my little dude right there, man. But for real, for real. 
AQ has just a little bit too much punch, man. That that dude is you can't just you can't and I know you wasn't taking him lightly, man, but you can you got to be real, real careful with your bars when you're dealing with dudes like that because he aggressive. And and his aggression is like he got that swag with that aggression, man. And it's cold. He he raw. That boy got bars, man. I, I got the I got to get at the AQ, man. That that was definitely a decent battle, man. But AQ just he just came a little bit too too hard on that one, man. It's supposed to have been well, I guess I'm not even gonna mention, you know, those who's supposed to have been there and wasn't. Um Jay Mur Jay Major versus Reno the God. I gave that to the young homie, man. Uh, I gave that to to, to Reno because of course Again, J Major. <laughs> that bag is it. Cause you be. Say that shit, bro. Cause, cause the, to the corners come and get that bag is it. Damn. Either stop smoking, wait till you're done uh, uh, battling, and then smoke. I, I don't know what to tell you, man, because I'm, I'm not a battle rapper. I am a rapper. Um, I do know better than, you know, to get lit before, you know, I have to do something. So that's something that you got to really, really, you got to pay attention to that, man. Be careful. All right. Um, so then, you know, you can kind of like have all your words like they supposed to be. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, dog, that that was kind of painful to watch again, man. You got to be real careful, man, because if you don't come with your boots laced, man, somebody gonna knock them off you. So yeah, I get at Torino, man. And look, dude, he 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 cold, man. He got he got a, he got a bright future in this in this thing, man. If he continue, um, class had paddled Mr. NBA, and I'm just gonna say Mr. NBA, man. I ain't even got to show what happened with that. Um, the main event. Um, who, who did I forget? I didn't forget anybody. I got Illa AK. Yep, I got everybody. Fat Folks was supposed to have been there, but I don't know what happened. Mr. NBA took Fat Folks' place, and he battled class, and it was... I'm going to let y'all see that. That's, you know, we me, me, and, me and the man, Banks, we're going to have to talk about that one. However you want to do it, it is what it is. Um, but the, the main event was definitely worth it, which was uh, Young Cannon versus Bully Danny... Um, honestly, I, I'm looking at him. I didn't, I didn't know he was there to rap. I mean, because he was walking around like, you know what I mean? And, and you know what? It was just a lot of confusing shit there, man. You know what I mean? I, I saw three young ladies come in, man, and they was looking decent. And I'm just looking like, okay, I see you, okay. And, you know, I, I, I mean, you know, you need to understand something. If something is confusing, you already know black folks don't know how not to look. We don't we don't know how to, oh, you know what, I saw it. And I'm, no, we we going we gonna to continue to, like, what the... You know, because I'm looking like, okay, yeah, she cute. I see, all right, I right, got a hair, a little hair did, and all, you know what I'm saying? Got on the baby, baby, baby shorts, you know what I'm talking about? Got the legs showing, and what the fuck are those? I mean, you you have to, like, what 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 just happened from, from here to here? I mean, honestly, I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm just looking like, okay, did she just come from home, or did she just come from volleyball practice? Because those are, I mean, I guess the joke would be on us if there's a, an active shooter, and then now all of a sudden, you know, I would follow her because she can 52 feet. Her way, got her way out of a motherfucking, yeah, you know I'm talking about. So I'm like, okay, yeah, follow the athletic one, you know, what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm looking like, damn, and then there's this other one, and I'm looking at her like, what, what's going on here? And every time I look up, and I mean, she looking like, what are you looking? You need to understand, I'm kind of confused because you're like a really ugly girl or a cute boy. Like, I, I don't, I'm just like, what the, you know, what's happening here? And then she said something, and then she, you know, the voice was feminine so i'm like oh okay all right that's fine because i don't want to be one of those that's caught up in a situation where you know like my girl said you know what i'm saying got my mouth already for some orange juice and the container ain't got nothing but some dick in it i mean i got i don't want that i'm you know what i'm saying i'm cool on that so okay you know what let me go ahead and go i mean like i said i was just mentioning some things that was just a bit confusing to me uh, and it was just that you know and that's kind of like making me notice you know I'm, I'm realizing that you know the age difference is definitely there because i didn't understand a whole lot that was going on um that night i just went with it you know what i mean because i did have some people there that understood me and i was able to kick it with them and they were able to explain a few things to me okay my bad man i, I really just got sidetracked i just had to say something because like i said it was just so many confusing situations like so many so many confusing things going on that just had me like what the hell like you know what I mean okay so with that being said man um young cannon versus bully Danny that was a very long battle it was about 20 minutes I had to watch it again and I had to watch it again I ain't gonna lie to you cuz young cannon super I mean he just he, he came he came out swinging 
so did bully but it's like towards bullies the end of his the end of his round i'm thinking like i, I gotta look at this again oh, i gotta look at it again i can't say if bully won or if young cannon won um i don't know y'all can edge it or if y'all whoever was in the if y'all was in the in the, in, the, in the attendance if y'all was in attendance that evening, man, just go ahead and y'all can definitely comment who y'all thought won. Um, Bully, you're definitely welcome to, 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 to chime in on that if you'd like to. Um, other than that, man, that, that, was my, that was my recap, man, of the October, man. Man, I'm, shout out to all the youngins that came out, man. Shout out to my man, uh, Banks, uh, Bankhead, man. He take care of his business, man. Uh, it's sour time and it's going to stay sour time. Um, although I can't smoke personally because that stuff is just, it gets all up in here. I think I done pink lungs, so I guess I have to ingest it. Um, I think I just have to stick with the, with the gummies, you know what I'm saying, with the edibles, if that is something that I want to do. Um, shout out to my man Banks, Jack City Battle League, also with my boy um, Lil Dave, Caseload. Um, great, great, great event, man. It definitely was a great turnout, man, and it was cracking hard. Um, I definitely like my, I definitely like the surroundings, man. I like the ambiance, and congratulations to my man Lil Dave, man. That that's a dope ass situation that you got over there, man. And I'm wishing you all the luck on that. And trust me, if y'all haven't been there, man, it's right there, 6123 North Avenue, North. Or should I say West North Avenue? Um, if y'all haven't been there, man, go on here and patronize the man. He got some dope ass clothes. Um, once again, man, shout out to everybody that came, man. I'm hoping that everybody got uh, made their way home safely. You know what I'm saying? Had a safe trip, safe travels, man. And hope y'all got home, man, in according, you know, to how you guys left. So hopefully everything will work well for you. So that was my recap of October. It's your big homie MC Ryan Ski. There's no chill, no filter TV, and I'm about this bitch. Peace. Jack City, bitch.